Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that you guys are all having a fantastic week so far. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my October favorites. Now last month, I skipped my monthly favorites video because I did have a lot going on. I moved to a new place last month and I also started a new job or had just started a new job. So I ended up actually skipping my favorites for last month because I had so much going on, I didn't really have a ton to share with you guys. But I do have quite a few things to share with you guys for the month of October. So I wanted to go ahead and jump on here and share those items with you guys. So if you would like to see what my favorite products were for the month of October, then please keep watching. So I've got a couple of beauty products to share with you guys and then also a couple of makeup products to share with you. So I'll go ahead and get the beauty products out of the way so that we can get to the stuff I know you guys want to see, which is the makeup products. So the very first body product that I want to share with you guys is actually a sugar scrub. And if you've been following me on my channel for a while, you know that I am completely obsessed with sugar scrubs because although my face is very oily, the skin on my actual body can tend to be very dry. So I recently tried out a new sugar scrub and it is the Flake Away by Soap and Glory. This is a product that you can actually pick up at your local Ulta or order online. I believe I paid about $15 for this product which is really good because you get a ton of product in here. But it's basically just a sugar scrub and it says on here that it has shea butter, sugar, and peach seed powder spa body polish. Um, that's what it says that it is. But I've really, really been loving this as a exfoliator and body scrub. I use it in the shower, on my arms, and on my legs, especially on my legs because that's where I tend to get most of my dry, kind of scaly skin. So I wanted to share this with you guys because it's a more affordable option for any of you guys out there who may be looking for a really great exfoliator. I've really been loving this one and it smells really, 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 really great. So definitely wanted to mention this one to you guys. And then another body product that I have been loving for the month of October is actually this little pair right here. This is a body wash and body spray from Victoria's Secret. And these are in the scent Moonlight Dream. So on the bottle it says that they are honeysuckle and aquatic orchid. Or I guess that's the scent. Honeysuckle and aquatic orchid. Um, but I really, really love these because I feel like they give me a very fall appropriate scent if that makes sense um they're kind of a little bit more on the mature side um they're not like really really sweet or fruity let me see you guys know i'm horrible at describing scents but it smells really really good it says on here that it has aloe vera and vitamin e in it for conditioning your skin for the body wash um and then of course the body spray just says that it's refreshing a refreshing formula that's infused with conditioning aloe vera and calming chamomile spray for a touch of scent. So I've really been loving these. Highly, highly recommend them for the fall season if you're looking for a new fragrance to try. I've definitely really been loving the two of those. So the next product that I want to share with you guys is a face product that I've been loving for the month of October. This was actually a recommendation from my friend Andrea and I saw that she mentioned this in her favorites video last month and I actually sent her a text message when I purchased this and I was like, this is your fault. I blame you for this purchase. But I went ahead and picked it up and it is this Pond Clarent B3 Dark Spot Correcting Cream. This is a product that you can really pick up from almost anywhere a drugstore Walmart Target I picked mine up from Walmart and I believe it was about five or eight dollars um, and what this is supposed to do or what it claims to do is to help to diminish dark spots and even your skin tone and this one in particular is for normal to dry skin and I've really been loving this first of all you get a ton of product in here I don't know if you guys can see um, but I've been using this every single day for a good month and it barely looks like I've really put a dent in this product um, but the reason why I really love it is because the other day like I said I've been using it for about a month and the other day my husband um, came up to me and he said your skin has really been looking good lately and I was like oh, thank you <laughs> And I know that it is because of this because this is the only thing that I have changed in my skincare routine. So, if you have hyperpigmentation 
or dark spots from previous acne or anything like that or you just want to even out your skin tone I definitely recommend this it's definitely an affordable option and it seems to be doing its job because you know when a man notices it's getting the job done so definitely recommend this one for you guys as well and I'll have all the products and the names listed in the description bar below so if you miss anything just check down there I'll have everything listed down there for you guys so the next product that I want to share with you is actually a brush that I started using in the month of October and it is the Real Techniques Sculpting Face Brush now as you can see this brush is pretty dense um, and then it also kind of has an angle to it and I've been using this brush for my foundation. Really this is a multi-purpose brush because I believe that the purpose of it is for contouring but I've been using it for my foundation. I think you could also use it to blend out your concealer underneath your eye and then of course also for contouring. But I've really been loving this brush because it blends out my foundation flawlessly. Like flawlessly. Ever since I've been using this brush, I haven't been using anything else. So much so that I'm probably going to end up buying a couple of backups of this brush so that when this one is dirty, I'll have some other clean ones to reach for. But I believe this brush was about 9 or 10 bucks and totally worth every penny. So I definitely wanted to throw this in there for you guys in case you're looking for a really good affordable foundation brush. This one will get you right. So before I move on to the makeup products, I wanted to quickly mention to you a clothing favorite of mine for the month of October. As you guys know, fall is fully upon us. It is completely freezing, at least in my opinion, because down here in Atlanta, it doesn't really ever get cold. And the fact that it is 50 degrees, to me, is freezing. So I have been busting out all of my fall and winter clothes, and my favorite accessory for fall is scarves. So I wanted to mention this scarf for you guys. As you can see, it's just a cowl neck um, or cowl scarf. That's what it's called. Um, but it's kind of similar to like an infinity scarf. And it's just a chocolate brown color. It kind of has hints of copper in the stitching. And I wanted to mention this scarf for you guys because it's actually a very special piece to me because a friend of mine, her name is Corey, made this scarf for me. Now she actually made it for me last year, but by the time I actually got it and was getting around to filming a video, it had already started to get warm again here in the South, so I didn't have a chance to mention it to you guys last year, but I wanted to make sure that I got on here and mentioned it to you this year because not only is she one of my really good friends that I actually met on Instagram, I believe, either Instagram or YouTube, but I've had the opportunity to hang out with her and actually really get to know her and she's become one of my really good friends. But this scarf, okay, so she hand makes, she hand stitches these or um, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Knit. She knit. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So she actually makes these by hand. And the thing that really blew me away about this scarf when she sent it to me is that this is really good quality. The yarn that is used is really heavy, so it keeps you warm. It keeps your, my neck really, really warm. And the actual way that it's knitted together, it's very neat. It's very seamless. I would not be on here telling you to purchase something from someone just because they are my friend. This scarf is a very, very well-made very good quality handmade scarf so I wanted to make sure that I jumped on here and let you guys know about this and she was so so sweet and actually offered me a 15% off code for any of my viewers that want to shop on her Etsy site the name of her business is 16 chains and I'll have everything linked for you guys down in the description bar as usual but definitely wanted to mention this for you guys because if you like scarves like me if it's your favorite accessory like it is for me in the fall and winter time you need this scarf in your life. So the discount code is 15% off. It's fashionably fay, and as always, like I said, I'll have that listed in the description bar down below. So if you're interested in checking out some of her other um, designs and colors and other things that she's made, she also makes hats and purses, all kind of stuff, y'all. So definitely check her out and show her some love. Use the discount code so you can get 15% off and get nice and warm and bundled up for the fall and winter season. Okay, so moving on to the makeup favorites, which I know is probably what you guys have been waiting for. The first makeup favorite that I wanna share with you guys is this bronzer. It's by Too Faced 
And I've actually had this bronzer for a really long time, but over the past month, I've really, really been using it like literally every single day. And when you look at this color, you wouldn't think that it would show up on my skin tone in particular, but as you can see, I am wearing this bronzer on my um, cheeks today and also on my temples and to contour my nose and I've just really been loving it. It's a really nice bronzing shade. It's not too warm. It gives you that perfect um, kind of grayish shadow and it's just a perfect bronzing color. Now if you are darker than me you may have a hard time getting this to show up but if you are my shade or lighter you will absolutely love this. This one is in the color Chocolate Soleil. It's the medium deep matte bronzer. So I've been loving this. Another face product that I've been loving for October is this blush from MAC. If you watched my recent beauty haul with Andrea, the collab that I did, this was actually one of the products that I picked up. And I'm so glad that I did because I have been completely obsessed with this blush. It's just a really, really gorgeous, um, almost like, how would you describe it? I guess kind of like a coppery shade, but it kind of has like that brick kind of tint to it and it looks absolutely stunning on the cheeks. Like when I swatched it in the store or when you look at it in the pan, it doesn't look like much, but when you actually swatch it, it's absolutely stunning and it gives you a really beautiful radiant glow to your face. So. MAC Sweet Cocoa, if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend that you do because it's an absolutely gorgeous blush for the fall time. Okay, two more products to share with you guys. The next one is a highlighter and it's this one by ColourPop and it's in the shade Avalon. This is their Super Shock Cheek. <laughs> I always get tongue twisted trying to say that, but Super Shock Cheek Blush. No, see, I can't even get it right. Super Shock Cheek Highlighter and this one is in the shade Avalon. This actually came in the um, in the uh, strobing kit, the one for medium to deep skin tones. This was one of the highlighters that came in the kit, and I am wearing that highlighter on my cheekbones right now, and I've literally been wearing this highlighter every single day. I'm super, super obsessed with this highlighter. It's just a really, really gorgeous, there it is right there, a really, really gorgeous, um, coppery, bronzy kind of highlight shade which I've been completely obsessed with. I think it looks absolutely stunning on anyone with my skin tone or similar to my skin tone. So definitely have been loving those and they're super affordable. So I would definitely recommend that you get your hands on those if you haven't tried them. And then another product that came in that strobing kit was actually this lippy stick and it's in the shade Grunge. And I've been wearing this like crazy. Now, of course, it's not the color that I have on my lips right now because I did just get finished filming this makeup tutorial for you guys. But outside of today, anytime that I'm looking for just a quick everyday grab and go lip shade, this is the shade that I've been reaching for. So this is it right here. And it's just a really gorgeous, deep, mauve, plummy kind of shade. Perfect for fall. A beautiful, beautiful nude for fall. So Definitely recommend this, and the other thing that I love about this is it looks good on tons of different skin tones, but again, this one is in the shade Grunge, definitely one that I would recommend to you guys. And yeah, that is everything that I had to share with you guys for my October favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, you guys know that I love when you let me know your favorites down in the comments down below. If you saw anything in my favorites that you're thinking about purchasing, let me know that down in the comments below as well. And I can't wait to read all of your favorites for the month and possibly start a little shopping list <laughs> for myself of things to pick up and try. So so thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel, hanging out with me, and staying until the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton, and I really, really appreciate when you guys let me know that you like the videos that I'm posting for you. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do that on your way out so that you will be the first to know whenever I upload a new video and you can make sure that you're always up to date. So thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope that you have an amazing day and I hope to see you very soon in my next video. Bye.